In this video, I'm going to show you how to create phylogenetic trees and perform bootstrapping on those trees using DNA Star's Megaline. The first step is to launch Megaline. You can do this from the navigator. Then load the sequences you wish to align. Do this by going to File, Enter Sequences. Now you can load DNA or protein sequences. In this case, I'm going to be aligning DNA sequences for the 18S ribosomal RNA gene from 15 different organisms. The next step is to perform the alignment that will be used to generate the phylogenetic tree. Now, in order to perform bootstrapping later, we need to use one of the clustal methods. So in this case, I'm going to go to Align by Clustal W. Once the alignment is complete, I can show a phylogenetic tree by going to View, Phylogenetic Tree. Here I have my phylogenetic tree showing predicted evolutionary relationships based on the sequence alignment. The scale here along the bottom shows nucleotide substitutions per 100 residues, and branch lengths represent the distances between sequence pairs or ancestor nodes. By default, the tree is shown as a phenogram, where distances between sequences or ancestors are averaged. And you'll see that some portions of branches are shown as dotted lines. This is a result of some negative branch lengths that may occur because of this averaging. If you don't want to use averaging, you can switch this to a cladogram by clicking the cladogram button on the toolbar. This forces the branch lengths to correspond to sequence divergence. For ease of viewing, I'm going to switch this back to the phenogram. Also note that this is drawn as a rooted tree, even though the clustal W algorithm produces unrooted trees. So this tree may appear slightly different than a tree generated by the clustal W software. To show bootstrapping values on my tree, I can go to align, perform bootstrapping. Here we are prompted to set the number of trials and the random seed. The number of trials corresponds to the number of trees that will be reconstructed using random resampling of the alignment data. And the random seed is just a starting point for the bootstrapping trials. I'm going to leave these settings as they are and just click OK. And now the bootstrapping results are shown as numbers on the tree nodes. These values indicate the percentage of times each clade occurred in the 1,000 bootstrap replications. So for example, this clade with a value of 100 occurred in 100% of the bootstrapping trials, whereas this clade with a value of 65.3 only occurred in about two-thirds of the trials. So the bootstrapping values give us an estimate of the reliability of the tree topology. And you may notice that this node shows a bootstrap value of NA. Remember that Megaline is using rooted trees instead of Clustal's unrooted trees. So a value of NA here indicates that this node was introduced by the rerouting process and therefore does not have a bootstrapping value. You can hide bootstrapping values by clicking the Hide Numbers button on the toolbar. If you have further questions about phylogenetic trees or bootstrapping analysis in Megaline, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.